Hello everybody. So this is like my umpteenth try at doing this. I just did a whole like movies and TV vlog and it wound up being like 12 minutes long. Like it's kind of mortifying. So I'm going to try to do this again in the really fast version. Um, I'm doing movies and TV today because I want to try to do Day in the Life tomorrow, Friday, um, because I was in that crappy ass mood and I didn't uh, do it the day that everybody else was, and uh, I think I was the one who put it on the sheet for us to add to the topic, so I'm going to make good on that, and it'll be fun, or at least mildly entertaining. Um, I have I have a stack of, of DVDs that were basically like my my props for, for the 12-minute blog, which was entirely unnecessary, um, I, and... They're DVDs, kind of unnecessary. Um, and I also have this book here. My sister made it for me um, for my birthday a couple years ago. And it's all pages dedicated to shows that I and we love, like Tyra and Top Model here. And Quakes Loser. Um. Oh, yeah, the Today Show Scrubs House. Hello, Dr. House. I love you. There must be, uh, yes, Desperate Housewives, and there's some Project Runway. I don't really watch Project Runway anymore. Tom, who plays Lynette's husband, love him. He's my TV husband. Ah, so you think you can dance. These are, there's some pictures in there from the first season. So good. I'm still catching up on the most recent season. No spoilers, you got that? Degrassi and Sex in the City, probably my big, my two biggest serial TV problems. Uh, Degrassi, it goes there. So you get the idea. TV, vegging out and watching TV is something my sister and I really do enjoy doing together because we can hang out, but decompress and de-stress at the same time, and it's good. I've been mentioned lately that I miss my sister. And no, Lauren, I'm not just saying that because now I know you're watching the vlogs. Hmm. Um... And as far as as far as the movies go, I am rom com central here. Uh, if it's got Mandy Moore or Katherine Heigl in it, um, I have probably seen it a thousand times. Uh, yes, they're comfort movies, and I love them. And I get so excited when I see like trailers for new ones coming up because I know it will be there for me to go to the theater on a rainy day and when I'm in a crappy mood and I will feel a thousand times better. Um, one of my favorite things to do is to go to the movies by myself when I'm in like a crap mood and it's really hard when there's no when there's no good movies in theaters and I'm like it's all the summer blockbusters right now so I'm I'm dying for like Love and Other Drugs to come out that has Jake Gyllenhaal and uh, Anne Hathaway in it and then there's that's like Thanksgiving and then there's another Christmas poem with Reese Witherspoon and it sounds like it's going to be some Romantic comedy heaven, folks. Um, and I want to throw in there, 500 Days of Summer, this this falls into the no kidding, you absolutely need to see this if you haven't. It is a wonderful, wonderful movie category. Like, no, like, oh, it's so bad, it's good, kind of, no, there's nothing, nothing like that to it. The soundtrack is amazing. Uh, Zoe and Joseph Gordon-Levitt are amazing. Um... And it's just a pretty film, and the story is great, and I'm using really ineffective adjectives, but hey, you've got to see this movie. I, I saw it like four times in the Fox Searchlight free screenings because I couldn't get enough of it, and the songs would be in my head, and just the images, and it's, it's beautiful. And I have a girl crush on Zoe. That's cool. Uh, so I think I did much better with time this time, so I'm going to call it an end now, and I will see you tomorrow for a day in the life of my typical Friday. Have a good one.